Hello, Leo. Welcome to your timeless reading here. Um, my name is Jay. I am an astrologer and intuitive channeler. Um, welcome to my channel, Serious About Stars, where I typically make um, astrology related content, but um, I've been doing tarot for a um, quite a few years and decided to finally make some tarot content on the channel. Uh, we have the Messenger of Air. In the original tarot deck, this is um, the Knight of Swords. So um, either you or somebody else is going to be uh, rushing in to um, say something. So either you are rushing in to tell somebody something um, that has just grown and grown on your mind or somebody is rushing in to tell you something. Um, you might not really um, be expecting this. And if it is you, you might not really think that it's an option to come forward with what you have to say um until all of a sudden like it's you know it's been in your ear or it's in your head and all of a sudden it's just like all over it is all all consuming and until you get it out it's going to stay that way so i would have to say i think that if it's you then um the best move is to let the process unfold. What else? What else? Can we um, clarify that a little bit? A little bit? Um, you know, there we go. There we go. Nine of air. Okay. All right, so there is some stuck in the head feeling. Um, I feel that if this is you, and I feel that for most of you guys, this is you. <laughs> um, there's actually, there's a little bit of contradiction here because although there is a, mm, a rushing to want to say something, there is a bit, I'm getting like a holding it in, especially when I was shuffling and um, nothing was coming out there for a while. There is a bit of almost maybe feeling ashamed or embarrassed of something, not wanting to let it out. So maybe this is almost more about um, just needing to release it. Not that, not that you originally wanted to share this, but you need to get off your chest and maybe you're realizing that um, it's something you gotta do. Something you gotta do. Um, uh, maybe? Some of you might feel in a weird kind of way that you're sleepwalking. Um, like you're there, but you're not really there. Sorry, my cat is interrupting. Um, there, but not there. Maybe you've kind of disconnected from a situation, um, or people even around you. Um, but I feel that the universe just wants to encourage you to take back the reins. Uh, take back this um, kind of control in your life, which could just be done by confronting this thing, saying this thing, letting it out, releasing it, release it and release it so that it releases you. It's kind of got a hold on you, but um, for a lot of you, it's simple. You just have to let it run its course and release it. Two of water, two of water. So um, this is also the two of cups. So, um, well, uh, soulmate, anybody know who their soulmate is? 
Um, if not, uh, maybe you will shortly. Maybe you're meeting someone. Um, maybe, maybe on the uh, other side of the challenges that you're facing, there is um, joy to be found. There is alignment and union with someone, somebody that um, could, will get you, will understand you, and be just like you to an extent, right? I like that. Let's get a little bit more on that. Mm -hmm. Queen of Earth, I kind of wanted to come out. I wasn't going to take it, but oh something to note. What have we got here? We've got the King of Water, also the King of Cups, the Hierophant, and Ten of Water, Ten of Cups. Okay, all right. Ooh. Um, this seems like a person. This seems connected to this card here. So, I feel like somebody is um coming forward and um maybe this also begins in kind of like the form of lending a hand lending you some help helping you out when you are down someone who is there for you this could also just be a friend um if not romantic um um and somebody not that it's somebody who really has like the ability to help you. Um, somebody who really has it together. Um, they could also be a water sign. Very well also be a water sign. Um, and Hierophant. Um, maybe. A decision is being made. Definitely some kind of a decision is being made. Maybe if you have been kind of going back and forth on something, this is a decision being made. Whether this is some huge change in your life or this is, or, or the decision not to change. Either way, it's almost like it, it's almost like even if there's no change, there is yet a change because in the indecision, in the uncertainty, there is a change in no longer having that battle. Um, so you are getting clear, cleaning up, uh, definitely cleaning. I, see, I feel a lot of cleaning. So for some of you, if you want to kind of like kickstart this, um, kickstart this, get this ball rolling, clean up like the space around you like physically clean your house clean something um to make it clear for you um if you feel like you've got your um your hands tied um this is breaking free this is breaking free this could also be um about going with something more traditional um choosing something more traditional um letting go maybe of um certain like something something that's been like of a goal to you letting it's almost like okay i don't know if i'm explaining this right maybe you're realizing that it's actually okay to um give yourself a break um I mean, there's always, there's always a lesson in something and say the, you know, one person has this like, uh, same kind of, um, circumstances and obstacles that they're going through as this other person, but the universe is working in both their lives to teach them different lessons. Like just because for one person over here, it might have been right to go with the, um, the the risk, say. That doesn't mean 
that that is the path for you. Um, I kind of feel that for a lot of you. I kind of feel that. And 10 of water. Oh, maybe you will just be so relieved and so relieved with um, how things turn out and maybe you're not quite there yet, but that is just a little um, incentive. It's a little um, something to look forward to that whatever you choose here, whatever you choose is gonna bring you happiness. Pretty simple. Pretty simple, I really like that. All right, what else does the universe have to share with my Leos? Oh, by the way, oh, oh wow, okay, these videos, I'm not gonna take these ones over here, but Page of Water, uh, I was gonna finish saying, um, these videos are timeless. I'm going to be uploading them every month, but they are not necessarily just for that month, Whenever you come across this video, whenever you click on it, that is the timeline that you are meant to receive the message. So, Page of Cups. Um, well, this is like an offer. This is an offer. This is also a, um, a new beginning. Um, maybe you are going through an experience that kind of like I mentioned over here of about cleaning. It's almost like there's water just washing you clean. And when you come up out of this water, when you rise from this, um, these challenges, perhaps when you rise from this situation, you're gonna be like fresh and clean and the worry that you have carried up until this point is gonna be gone. Just off of your energy completely. And I feel like a sense of innocence and um, youth. Um, I see a lot of also like creativity Creativity, new creativity beginning for you guys by these cards. Oh, these cards. Okay, transformation and eight of air, which um, this is also the death card, and this is also um, eight of swords. Wow. Okay. Um, you, my Leo friends, are going through a transformation, a rebirth, a complete rebirth. Um, I love this card here. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like she, you know, blows like the leaves or whatever it is in her hands. And it's like a phoenix just, um, rising into flames. And it's kind of like the little pieces of leaves or whatever they really are, um, like ashes spreading. Um, <laughs> you know, of course the death card, it's, you know, it's got its, um, you know, I don't want to say reputation, but you know, it's got that like sorrow and that almost like morbid, like lingering, whatever, but it is just made to be so beautiful. Like the end result is beautiful and like new life, rebirth. Like that is just, that is very positive. It's just the road that you have to travel to get there can be brutal. But I feel for a lot of you guys, the worst is over. The worst is over, like the test, like it's it's like um, school, right? And you have all these tests all throughout the year, you have all these projects, all these things, and you're coming up to the final, right? Which is like, you know, the, the, the most challenging part, but is it, is it like, is it that much worse than the rest of the year, the rest of the work, the rest of the lessons that you've already learned and, and gone through? The worst is over guys. Eight of air. So eight of swords in the original tarot deck, this is, um, uh, she, a woman who has, who's blindfolded. 
okay? And she thinks that she is like tied to these swords, tied to some kind of a place, like she's being held hostage, but she's not. She can leave at any time. You can leave at any time. It's all in your mind. Leave at any time you're ready. The thing about feeling ready, like you might never feel ready. You won't know until you um, take those steps and you and you try and you see how it goes. All right, what else? What else? For Leo, ooh, two of earth, so two of pentacles. Um, there's a decision that you have to make. Decision you have to make. Um, and it might really come down to two things. I feel like for you guys, it might have been like a lot more than that. It could have been more than that. Kind of like the nine of air here. I get kind of like a um, almost seven of cups feel. Like are there all these options, all these different things? It's like a chance. It's like, it's almost like... Um, what am I trying to say? It's almost like, I, I want to say luck, but it's not luck. It's like just chance. It's like rolling the dice, okay? Um, but then you get through all of that and now it comes down to two things. It comes down to two things. Um, all right, what else? Can we uh, clarify that? Can we clarify that? Let's, let's clarify that. One more shuffle. Okay, justice. Justice. Okay. I like this. This is almost like it's almost saying that this isn't really about a decision. It's about like your soul's truth, like justice for your soul. Like what is the truth? Okay, and justice, right? Justice, there's only like one truth here. And I feel like the universe is kind of stepping in and um and kind of gonna give you what um your soul really needs um like what your soul deserves like this might have may have been a long time coming you know it's funny like the gold um behind her is almost like one of these pentacles here. Um, so it's almost like, it's almost like what is in the background of your life? Like what of these choices that you have to, to pick from? Like, I wanna say like mimics the sun. Like what gives you energy? What gives, like what gives you vitality? Um, and even if you try and run from it, it's going to come after you. It's going to come after you. All right, let's get one more card just to go ahead and close this off here. One more card for Leo. One more card to just kind of like pull this all together. What does Leo need? To, oh, that's more than one card. <laughs> that's more than one card. All right, all right. Two of air. So again, um, get out of your head about this. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Um, the birds on the hands. Um, it's almost like there are a lot of like voices you're listening to a lot of different people and you don't know who to listen to listen to yourself listen to your intuition magician something new is is alchemizing is coming together you are working on something you are being the magician you 
are putting something together. Use your abilities, use your gifts, your talents. Seven of Earth. So you are working hard on something. Um, we've been working hard on something for a long time, but look. Look at what he's looking at this like fairy, this golden fairy. It's almost like, you know, the same color as the pentacles and that background, that sun behind the justice card. So this is already within your scope, okay? But for some reason, you haven't considered it as an option for a while. Page of Earth. Page of Earth. I feel you guys just, um, oh, and look at that. Look at that pentacle. Um, starting new, like starting fresh. The innocence, I love like the sense of innocence here. Um, the nature, the nature, um, the joy, the passion, the air, breathing the air, being in your zone, your, 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 the surroundings that you love, that fill your soul, being wild and free and just like in your truth, in your nature. Um, I like that. I feel like a really strong sense of like new beginning and just leaving the old behind. Leaving things behind. Oh, my cat wants to say hi. Hi, lovely. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you um, enjoyed this and come again next time. Bye.